guys welcome back to my channel it's marisa how's everyone doing today 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 is going to be a pretty quick video i just wanted to show you a couple of things that i got from michael's that i got from the dollar tree and yeah i am really really excited so let's quickly just show you how these dried and they dried beautifully how gorgeous they are I just love them and this guy here just absolutely beautiful I think I may do it hang it that way but these really look like peacock feathers to me that is just so gorgeous all right so these are how I just wanted to show you these because uh, something that I had bought specifically for these now there's a channel called Gina Loves to Craft. Hey Gina, and I really like her channel. And she's always getting, uh, I'm gonna move this. I got this on sale at Michael's. I just wanted to show you that real quick. It was eight pieces for $12.99. So let's move that out of the way because I was running low on canvas. And she is like in love with these paper pads now I don't do paper crafts I'm not really a craft channel per se but I do like doing you know a couple of things I'll add a couple of craft like elements to my paintings and it's actually you know it's fun for me you know this should be fun it shouldn't be that serious um, I'm just having fun here learning new things like you know the new resin art I've been doing so these are these paper pads, and I didn't realize how expensive these were. These are usually $20 each, and I'm like, oh. But as soon as I walked into Michael's, because I had this idea, um, because these are so pretty, but the backs are so, like, crazy looking, you know? And if someone was to buy these, or even, like, for me giving them as gifts, which I have done, and I have used these for my Lunar New Year, and I had used some, like, self-adhesive, um, like, glitter uh, foam, uh, like, sheets, but, you know, that was for that. I'm like, well, you know, I'm, I don't always want to use, like, glitter. I don't want to take away from these. So I was thinking, well, what about some pretty paper? And as soon as I got the idea, I walked into Michael's yesterday with my friend Sonia. And lo and behold, the first thing I saw was a big rack of these paper pads by CraftSmart. Huge sale. First of all, first of all I had like a 25% uh, percent off coupon. And it was buy one, get two free. So I was like, wow, that is awesome. And then my friend Sonia, hey Sonia, um, she was so sweet. So she bought me one. So I only paid for one and I wound up getting six. And these papers are gorgeous. I'm not going to flip through all of them. I just wanted to show you um, some of these papers. Look how beautiful these are. That is just so, look at this. I was like, wow. And of course, I can make whatever I want with these. If I do want to make paper crafts, I can. I don't know if I'll do that on this channel or not, but like I could always make someone cards. You know, I mean, look how just quickly flip through some of these. Look how, wow, I even see half of the, I even flipped through them myself yet. Um, and uh, these are nice because I just want some of them kind of more like on the plainer side. Look how beautiful. Uh, I can make some like tags see those little boxes there I can make like tags and use them as notes or whatever um, you know for gifts or whatnot and yeah so that's floral romance I just I was like wow I always like it I actually really like those papers like wow I would like to have some of these papers myself but like you know really what would I do with them because I really don't do paper crafts like that uh, I know you guys a lot of you guys make like these memdex cards which I have no idea what to do you know how to make those but this is called dark botanical I fell in love with these but for me personally I want to use them for, oh wow these are gorgeous for um yeah like the backs of some of my wow this is so pretty damn <laughs> um i see something like that could go on the back of these you know i could just cut them out and glue them so that for me that was what i was thinking of more 
and this is called Dark Elegance. And these are so beautiful. Wow. Yeah, so I can make, you know, I look, even as a child, I made people cards, my family cards when I was a, a real, you know, younger. Wow, this is so pretty. So, you know, I could do whatever I want with these. Um, yes, yeah, so I just want to share that with you. It was buy one, get two free. I was like, holy cow, that's a really, really great deal. And then I had 25% off uh, coupon. And I got this at Michael's. This was like three or four bucks. And I was thinking of using this as a resin art piece. Um, and it does come with some hooks already. So I could hang it up this way. I could hang it up, you know, horizontal or vertical. I was thinking of actually doing a resin art piece on here. And then I went to the Dollar Tree. Now, unfortunately, I had more stuff, but I left it. I left some of this stuff in my friend's uh, car um, and, or in her house, but I found these um, for Easter. You know how I like to pour over these wood pieces? So, um, I mean, look at these. I don't know, five pieces for a dollar, little chicks. I also bought uh, little bunnies for Easter, but they're still in her home. I got some other stuff for um, St. Patty's Day as well, again, in our home. So I'll get them next week and I'll show them to you. But I got this, this little Easter egg. I'm not using on this side. I'm going to pour over it. And then I can use actually this springtime um, paper uh, in bloom paper on the backs of it to kind of finish it off. And then I got this huge shamrock, and I'm going to use this for a specific video that will be coming up soon. I already started working on it a little bit. Um, if you remember, I'm going to do the Jacksepticeye, uh, kind of like Ode to Jacksepticeye soon, just like I did for Markiplier. And I'm going to try and get it ready for St. Patty's Day because he's Irish, if you don't know. Um, if it's not, it's not, but I would, at least around that time. Um, yeah, so I thought that would be kind of cool to do that around St. Patty's Day, um, because he's Irish, you know, and, um, yeah, so I got some stuff for the project, and, you know, so I have a couple of things in the works, I can't wait, and then, um, and I'm going to be unmolding some of these now as well, um, not, well, these are going to be very difficult, they have to, I have to take my time with these. One of them cracked, or right? I tried um, unmolding it, and so I, I think I could fix it, maybe add a little more. Um, if I mix some more resin in, I can um, fix it, hopefully. But I, I did unmold some of them already, and I had painted, this is my sign, Taurus. Now look how beautiful that came out. It came out really nice. Yeah, let's do it that way. So I did paint it gold beforehand, and it worked out absolutely perfectly. And then these are, I want to do like, quote unquote, like resin, pe uh, resin, jade, quote unquote, jade jewelry, but like fake jade, like with resin. So, and of course it's not focusing, but you get my idea. So I have those little charms, and these are all the, um, Zodiac symbols. Those are the symbols of the Zodiac. I think that is Gemini, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't unmold this yet. Um, yeah, so these are the other ones. Oh, I just unmolded one, and that came out really nice. Again, those are the constellations, and it has the hole. So this came out really, really pretty, and... I use what colors? Ice blue by Arteza, uh, amethyst, and then I use some of this Primal Flow Chunky Mermaid glitter in some of them, and I use the jadeite uh, from Primal Flow to make uh, these guys. And then wait until I unmold that. I already unmolded it, but um, I put it back in for a minute. And one more thing I got, I actually have some more stuff coming today from Amazon. I did get the ClearCast 750. I really, th this was, um, ex it has extra UV protection in it. Look how big this bottle is. 
and originally it was $32, but I had a coupon code from Naptime Creations. I believe the code was Nap, um, Naptime20, I believe, something like that. But if you go into her channel, you if you look under one of her videos that she's doing like resin work, it, it'll absolutely say um, the more recent videos. You will find the code there. But, um, yeah, so that is a pretty big bottle, and it is really gorgeous. So, it, it comes out really, really clear, and it is incredibly easy to mix, and it becomes clear really easily, and, um, there's little to no bubbles, and absolutely no smell. I smelled absolutely nothing. So, these resin companies are doing a very good job at creating resin with no odor with no fumes so if you guys are using resin that has fumes stop it immediately and go get yourself you know uh, i mean like just do some research and um, it doesn't have to be this one but it's a 48 ounce um kit for 32 dollars plus if you use her code it's 20 percent off so uh i'm not like you know pushing her code or anything i'm just saying like you know i like her channel and then there's a code. So, you know, I like I like I said in the other video, I really enjoy just, you know, supporting other artists and stuff. And um, yeah, it's helping me out and it'll help you guys out. So go check that out as well. So I am going to come back. I wish I didn't forget my other stuff, but it was from the Dollar Tree. It was some Easter and St. Patty's Day stuff. Um, but anyway, I will get it next week. So, I will be back, and I'm going to unmold a couple of these guys. These I'm not going to unmold on here because I really have to take my time with them. These were a pain in the butt to do, by the way. I had to take one of those sharp um, sticks that I have. I'll show you in a, right now if I could get one. Sorry, guys. You saw underneath my table. Um, this, and I had to kind of poke it without puncturing the mold obviously but I took some of the resin I like dripped it down into the mold like that and I had to like really push it in there um yeah so it was a little bit of a pain in the butt to do them and like I said one of them cracked one of these so I had to be I have to be really careful with them but they did come out quite adorable anyway so I'm really happy with them as little charms all right, so I'll be back in a minute, and we will unmold a couple of these guys. Okay, guys, I'll see you in a sec. I am back. So let's start with Little Mermaid. I unmolded it already and I kind of over poured here. So I have to like file that down a bit. But look how beautiful that is. So that is with the jade. I'm calling jade, jadeite, whatever. Uh, pigment. And if you can see that in light, yeah, that's a little better. Um, and with that mermaid glitter that is so beautiful so and actually after 10 hours it gets pretty hard so I didn't I actually did it last night like 1 o'clock in the morning so um, yeah by the time I woke up I woke up a little late it was kind of already too hard to put a little uh, pin in so but that's okay I'll use it as a uh, magnet but look how beautiful so I kind of know around eight hours it's still like pliable and you could you know do what you want with it these I'm gonna use as little magnets as well um, again I tried to make it like a pendant but it was already too hard but that came out really pretty I wish my camera would focus like I said these guys are really adorable all right so let's unmold this guy and see what you came out oh very nice 
this is my son's uh, signs of cancer so he wanted a purple one but I'm gonna make him another one um, because he wanted black and purple um, but I'm gonna do something else for him as well I actually bought some black uh, pigment so I thought that was really it's gonna be gorgeous so these are very hard to um, unmold but I'll just unmold one because I have to be very gentle and it's gonna take way too long to like I don't want to put you guys through like 20 30 minutes of me unmolding these but I'll see see that one cracked too it's a little too thin over here but I think it's okay there you go see yeah yeah it's a little they're very delicate absolutely this is just very very delicate so let's do this one let's see what how this came out alrighty okay Ooh. wow holy cow that mermaid glitter is sick look at that gorgeous this is so pretty wow that's the other side obviously I would have to well you know uh, file down these little edges if I wanted to use this side but this is so beautiful my goodness okay cool now I use the amethyst I use some clear oh no this amethyst and the um, the jade colored one and that beautiful color uh, the um the clear the uh, I'm sorry the, the mermaid glitter <laughs> so I unmolded this a little bit already just to get a little bit this came out very 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 clear so very easy Wow yeah I was just kind of drawing a little bit with that stick and that jade uh, resin I was kind of like I don't know making kind of like an abstracted plant in the middle and this is look at this Woo! crystal clear it is really beautiful yeah I wanted to test it out to see how clear it was you know that's why I wanted to definitely do like a clear piece um, I don't know if I'm gonna paint them or not uh, paint the edges I can if I wanted to maybe I'll do like a nice aqua color if I do not gold uh, I'll probably like maybe an aqua or a green color if I was to paint the edges but this is so cool look at that very very nice love it so so far I'm very happy with this resin and we'll just um here I took this guy out I did paint um, some gold paint the uh, Extreme Sheen uh, Decor, I believe it is, beforehand, and kind of painted in the, um, there you go, I painted in the, uh, the, the um, stars and stuff, Cancer, oh, this is my son again, so I hope my camera is focusing a little better than I think it is, so that came out good. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to pick up, but it did. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is working very well. You can see the names of the... Um, and I just switched off with some jade, that icy blue and the amethyst. I just kind of switched up all the different colors here. So, I don't know if my camera's focusing, and I hope you guys you can see. Uh, excuse my hands. I happen to have carpal tunnel really really bad it's getting worse I may actually have a have the surgery that would mean I would be out of commission for a while so heads up with that I don't know I will let you guys know if I do because that would mean I would have to take a break from YouTube possibly for a while because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use my hands you know so these are coming out really pretty I think I'm gonna have to do a little thicker on the uh, gold paint next time yeah but my hands are very swollen and red so please excuse my hands they're not that pretty to look at right now but yes 
these are all coming out perfect so you know I'm making little pendants with the um, for the uh, horoscopes for the zodiac and then if I don't like the way you know if the gold's not coming out too prominent in some of them then really not um, I could go back in if I want maybe just paint over it on top but I would rather you know I guess I'm gonna have to do a couple of coats but you know this is just me trying these particular modes out for the first time so they are really cute so let's take this one out and last two they're popping right out yeah so after 10 hours they're, they're pretty much like hard definitely you could like mess around with them so I would say eight hours seven to eight hours you have to catch it in that window if you want to add like a little pin or a hook or something like earrings you know something like that but these are specifically made for and they have the little hole array and I kind of like that so I don't have to worry um, you know like with this one I kind of missed the window so like I said I'll just make a magnet out of that one um, but these I don't have to worry because it already has so this is Sagittarius this is my mom yep so that is that yeah so I think you know I gotta be very careful like I said unmolding these um, and I just there they are a bit of a pain in the butt to un, to make and unmold um, see and these are still a little pliable but yeah so I'm gonna leave that because that's gonna take a while I have to do it very very slowly but I think when they do come out they come out really really nice so and I can do multiple colors with these I can do one color on top one on the bottom but I kind of just want to make some jade looking um, jewelry you know so yeah and then I'm gonna have to get thinner uh, cord you know uh, maybe like some red uh, string red cord to go through here something like that or green or whatever, white whatever but it has to be a little lighter not that thick black uh, cord for this because this is too delicate uh, to use that heavier cord but these I could probably use that black cord that I just bought those are okay for that yeah so I'm really happy um, I have to say thumbs up to this the clear cast uh, resin I am so happy with it thanks um, Tish from Naptime Creations that's really awesome for sharing your code and yeah so that is it for today guys I hope you enjoyed the little unmolding um, these are so pretty these colors I'm gonna go off and kind of file that down a little bit over here I accidentally poured too much I want to make my little uh, magnet with that and that is it so guys I hope you have a wonderful day thank you so so much for watching and yes if you like this video please give me a little thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to head, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos guys you can follow me on social media my links are below in the description and maybe I'll put some of the um, the stuff I used in there if you want to try out for yourself and guys I will see you in the next one bye